back everybody uh day five today's friday uh not quite as early as i wanted it to be today but uh uh got down here to get loaded um last video you saw me load up those dies i took them down to canton i got them delivered um that went super fast uh pulled on the scale pulled around they took them off pulled back on the scale to get an empty weight and off i went uh, i don't think i was there but 22 minutes 23 minutes maybe so that went super fast went everything good <clears throat> i got down here about a quarter to 12 um to london ohio pick up this uh cement mixer pulled in here and there was another guy loading going the same place had the same exact truck on he uh was out there trying to measure his load and so i took him my high pole measured load for him and it turned out he ended up being um 14 one high and he had all the air let out of his tires on the front of the truck so wasn't looking super good for me uh so they told me what truck i was getting i took the high pull over and i measured the truck on the ground with all the air in the tires and um that uh yeah that was bad uh i ended up being 12 foot 11. i actually got a picture of it i'll put it up now the unit itself with 12 foot 11 on the ground uh if you know anything about my my trailer uh my deck height is 18 inches truck weighs like 35,000 pounds so uh it's gonna it's gonna hold me at an 18 it's not gonna my empty empty height is is the back of my trailer rides about 20 to 22 inches the front runs 18 all the time um but with this kind of weight, the back of the trailer squats down. So I'm uh, I'm 100 percent sure 18 is true with this. So we let the air out of the tires on mine. I got it loaded up. Uh, I tell you, what happened there was obviously this was supposed to be a legal load, and it turned out to be overdimensional. So uh, I uh, got a hold of the the people I got the load from, told them what was going on, gave them a quote for the permits. They agreed to pay for the permits. So in the end it really isn't a big deal um i got the permits ordered um i'm waiting on uh waiting on a rate con from them now just to be sure that uh that the number is what it's supposed to be and <clears throat> so i figured i'd uh i mean i hope it comes through because i'm already loaded but um i figured i'd get out here and show you what i did for the load show you the load so uh, one thing i do want to say i'm at uh a place called uh aaron's truck and equipment oh, you can see that sign up there Aaron truck man these guys <laughs> I keep running into some really nice people um, a couple guys that I worked with here that helped me out getting loaded and everything hit uh, Bob and Lou and super nice Bob was he did most of it he backed it on and everything uh, Lou came over he's a super nice guy too like these guys super cool guys so uh, it, it's so nice to, to to work with people that are are happy and not you know grumpy and uh are kind of getting the job done type of people so uh i appreciate uh i think they're probably both going to be watching this so uh i appreciate it guys i really do uh it was real good meeting you and uh super good super good coming down here to load so look forward to possibly working for you again in the future uh, so here's our load right here it's a concrete mixer truck They said it's uh, got pretty low hours on it. Pretty nice truck. A little bit longer than what the well would allow, so we ended up just putting that tag right up on the back. No big deal. Um, we did end up letting the air out of the tires on. See that? Letting the air out of the tires on mine too, and that uh, I just measured it, and we're uh, we're dead on 14 foot. So uh, maybe a little bit taller. I, I went ahead and permitted for 14 one just to be sure. Uh, so here's what I did for securement. Thing only weighs about 35,000 pounds. Positioning on it, um, I really just did that because the tag needed to be up on the back, and I kind of got it as as centered as I could with the tag up on the back. So um, here's what I did for securement. I ended up putting one chain all the way across up here. Put my my D ring in. Went back to the other side, and then I underneath here. Did what I always do. Hooked off the axles. X-chain back to each side. 
that's again why did i do that because it's below the suspension that way if the truck is bouncing down the road the securement doesn't come loose that one chain going all the way across hooked right in that front in that tow hook that uh that chain will be it'll be doing some bouncing while this thing's going down the road but uh, with the other two there that'll hold everything tight on the on the low on that trailer so that'll allow it to bounce and move a little bit and not uh not have any trouble so i added one in the middle here i wanted another one pulling backwards so i added one here in the middle and just went right up over the frame there using those brackets to kind of pull using the brackets up there to have this thing pulling backwards that way if i gotta uh you know if i gotta slam on the brakes then uh i got something a little bit extra holding it back so the back I did two chains. I couldn't X these because there was no real, no real way to go on the outside of that and have it stay there. So I just hooked on the inside and came right back down here to the trailer and tied in. I did the same thing on the other side. Oh, pretty simple load. If you back right up on here, didn't have too much trouble. Uh, this permit situation, that's uh, we'll, we'll see what happens there. But um, I, I got to check my books. I'm not real. I don't do a whole lot of just high loads. Um, I know with with over or overweight only, we don't need signs and flags. I think high ones, we still got to run at least signs. So I put my sign on. I'm gonna do a little research. I can't remember exactly. I'm, I'm gonna do a little. I'm gonna get my book out this weekend at the house and uh, do a little research and see if I need to uh, if I need to run signs and flags on a high only light uh, load. I'm thinking I do, but I'm not, I'll find out. So anyways, these guys, <clears throat> because of where I'm at and I gotta go back north to go home, um, the, I talked to these guys here and, and asked if I could just drop the trailer here and uh, bobtail back up to the house. And then I've, well, I gotta come right back past here. If I would go north, I gotta come literally right back past here uh, to go to Florida. So I'm just gonna drop the trailer here for the weekend, uh, lock it up and uh, head up to the house. Enjoy the weekend, and then I'll pick it, pick the trailer back up here Monday. So uh, that's our load. That's our Friday load. So far, you know, again, interesting stuff happening. Like uh, I did not, I didn't see this, uh, I didn't see this height issue coming. So it is what it is. We're working it out, and that's that's the way this stuff happens. So see when I get the permit, and uh, I'll do a little bit more filming on Monday morning. Hope everybody has a great weekend. Uh, have. Hope everybody has a great day. If you're, this is the first time you're watching my channel, I appreciate it. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Uh, if you like, if you like what you see, or you want to see a little bit more, hit that uh, hit that like button and the subscribe button. It helps me out, helps channel out. Uh, if it's uh, if you're if you're coming back to the channel, hey man, thanks for coming back. I appreciate it, and thanks for the support. And uh, we will talk to you guys all next week.